Hi everybody, thank you for joining me on the Tuesday Night Choo Choo with friends. I'm so glad to have everybody back this Tuesday night. I am actually going ahead and doing a Dutch pour. That was the um, original plan. Of course, um, I had to change up, but this is um, Payne's Gray by Creative Inspirations. Um, you can get that at Jerry's Artorama. It's probably my favorite of all Payne's Gray. I absolutely love it. And if you mix a little bit of the Amsterdam, Amsterdam greenish blue in it, it's just stunning as well. So I'm just doing um, full coverage, trying to get the paint. Um, it probably is a little bit too thick. Um, thicker than I usually use for a Dutch pour, um, but I, I decided, well, we'll see how it goes. I won't blow it with the blow dryer. I'll just go ahead and um, tilt it out. If you missed Holly, she was before me. Hi, Holly. Hope you had a great weekend. And then Camille Amoy Art is after me. Hey Camille, can't wait to see what you've created. And then Nate Bright Art will follow Camille. I'm sure Nate has something very exciting for us to see. Can't wait to see what everyone's created this Tuesday night. Thank you to everyone who continues to support us. Um, we know that there are so many videos out there, so the fact that you take time on Tuesday nights to be with us and follow us, it, we're just so, so gracious. Thank you, thank you. Um, if you like this video, please give me a big like. I would love it if you're not subscribed, if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell. Right now, I'm having a video every Tuesday night at 6.30. So I look forward to some fun holiday videos coming up real soon. If you missed the um, pig jamma party that was out this past weekend, please check that out. There's a great prize package of TLPs. So there were 19 artists. Please go back and check all of them out. Okay, so we are starting my Dutch pour. The first layer of white was my Parage Posse Snow White Iridescent Pearl. The second white was my Liquitex Iridescent White. The next color that I'm putting on is Porridge Posse or Parage Posse Christina's Laguna Shimmer. And then I'm following that up with Porridge Posse Bubblegum. Beautiful colors. And then after that, I picked an Arteza Silver. I, I don't use a lot of silver. But I thought that um, why not? These colors might do well with silver. I wish if anyone has a good suggestion on a silver that's bright and vibrant. I just I love silver and didn't haven't found one. Um, the next color is Porridge Posse Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer, and then I'm just going back and following up with some of the colors in layers for the Dutch pour. I'm really excited about these colors. Unfortunately, after I did the blowout, I was not happy with the end result. So I played around with it a little bit and then ended up doing um, two ring pours. And I will show you that. That's why I called it Circus Ring. So um, let's uh, blow this out. Then I'm going to fiddle with it a bit. And then I will see you back um, at the ring pour. See you there. You held me back when I tried to move on from your life So you stole my life but clearly So hold me back, now you're here Cause I'm mad, show no fear Wanna let you know just how it felt
Okay, so I'm back. I continue tilting. That's why this is a chaos Dutch pour because I am tilting and I used a skewer just trying to get some oomph. You know, I don't do a lot of paintings with negative space and I need to work on that. I do think negative space is really important. Maybe you like it this way, but I decided to use the same colors that are on the Dutch pour and do two little ring pours in each corner. And that's what I'm doing now. And I actually love the end results and it dried beautiful. Um, putting some varnish, spray varnish on it, it really brought out these colors are just phenomenal. Um, if you haven't tried Porage Posse or Parage Posse paints, they are amazing. I do love them and I have a lot of colors. There's so many paints in my collection. I don't get to use all of them all the time, but these are really, really great paints. So now I'm just um, looking at it thinking, okay, are we going to tilt? Because, um, you know, the paints are thin. For a Dutch pour, my paints are a lot thinner than they are. I don't use mix in a Dutch pour. I'll use um, usually GAC and Floetrol and water. Sometimes just Floetrol and water. It depends on how thick the Floetrol is. But um, for my... Um, ring pours um, my consistency is usually either with mix or I will do Floetrol and a little bit of Liquitex and it's it's a much thicker consistency so I knew going into this with the with the ring um, you know it wasn't going to be a perfect ring pour so now I'm just going to keep tilting it until I get the effects that I like and again let me know what you think at the end should I've left the negative space or did you like the, um, you know, the end result on this? Also, there is a definite, um, there is a picture inside this picture. Let me know if you can see what that is. But, okay, let's tilt this out, and I will see you shortly. Okay, let's go down for a close-up. I am thrilled with the colors. I think that the yellow and the bubblegum together really created the Laguna, Christina's Laguna, and the bubblegum together created some really bright effects. Um, that yellow is just absolutely beautiful. It's glowing. I just love the way it popped through. Um, I am seeing where um, the mixture of the Payne's Gray um, and the uh, turquoise together, it created a kind of an aqua color in here. I am happy with that. And we all know that you can get a real cool orange effect when you mix yellow and, and the, um, the bubble gum together. I think the um, yellow actually made the bubble gum a lot brighter. I just love these colors. Um, I think it's really cool. Um, I hope that you enjoy this end result. I'd love to hear. Please let me know in the comments below what you think. Please stay tuned for Camille Amoy Art. She's up next. Thank you, everyone. Oh.